Today I'm on the subject of a healing, a manifestation of healing through a word of knowledge. So stay tuned. Well, here at Cecil and Lisa Paxton Ministries, we've made the decision that we're going to sow into your life the Word of God. You can go to our website and you can download all of our digital, both the book, both the um, audio teachings for free. So we're sowing that into your life. I encourage you to take advantage of God's Word for the benefit of your heart. Today I'm talking about a manifestation of healing that came through a word of knowledge. The example we have in Acts chapter 14, starting verse 8, is a man that the scripture says he didn't have any strength in his feet. In fact, he was sitting, he was crippled, the scripture says, from his mother's womb. The man's never walked. Goes on to say that this man heard Paul speaking. Paul observing him intently in seeing that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, stand up straight on your feet. And he leaped and walked. Now, verse 11 goes on to say the response that comes from the people. But right now, I want to focus on the man because you see, I believe this is a manifestation of healing that came through a word of knowledge because Paul had knowledge, suddenly a knowing by the Holy Spirit because the scripture says this, that Paul, of course, he was ministering the word of God to these people. And you know what? He probably wasn't even ministering healing, probably ministering the love and the grace of God. And But you see, there was a response from the word working in the heart of the man. And God showed Paul because the scripture says that Paul was observing him intently. Look, you don't stop and when you're ministering the word of God to many people and look at one person and you suddenly get focused on one person and sudden without it being the Holy Spirit. In fact, it's reminding me of a, of a friend that I know that um, flows prophetically. And he said this, he knows he has a word for them when suddenly he feels drawn with the love of God towards them, but he has no idea what he's going to say. He just knows that the Lord wants to speak through him. You see, Paul observed him intently, and the scripture says, seeing that he had faith to be healed, knowledge given to him. He's looking at the man because all of a sudden there's a connection. He's getting something with the Holy Spirit. Suddenly he just knows. He knows on the inside knowledge is transferred. He knows that this man has faith to be healed. Faith being the ability of his heart in trusting God. Faith for a manifestation. He knows. Uh, and, and so looking right at the man, he spoke directly to the man. And he did it with a loud voice. In other words, no distraction, no way this man's going to miss it. He's looking right at him, and he spoke loudly. It's a command now because power is working on the inside of them. You see, anytime you get a word of knowledge directly in a situation concerning a manifestation, you act on what the Lord's showing you, you're going to see something. There's going to be a manifestation. Something good is going to happen depending upon what the Lord is communicating. And here it's healing. He had faith to be healed. And he said with a loud voice, stand up straight on your feet. And he leaped and walked. The man had never walked before. This is supernatural. He's walking, but he's never, ever had any experience on how you walk. But he's supernaturally walking because up on his feet was by the power of God. I believe this man didn't just get up like you and I would get up from a sitting position. I believe when the power of God hit him, wham, under the power of God, he flew up because under the power of God, he's walking supernaturally, walking when he's never had any experience ever in his life walking before. I mean, look at a baby. When a baby begins to walk and they're learning how to walk and the process they go through with the brain, communication taking place, the body, the muscles, all the all the learning process, that man supernaturally began to walk by the power of God. And the people, of course, saw it. Look, while I'm on this point concerning a word of knowledge, I mean, you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8. That's what I'm talking about. In verse 8, you see the word of wisdom by the Spirit, the word of knowledge by the Spirit. This is the example I'm given here, but you see, there are those, and I just want to cover this area, there are those that sometimes I've had people tell me about prophetic words that's been given to them, things like this, you know, someday God's going to heal you, you know, look, I do not believe those type of prophetic words are coming from God because it's not the example we have here. I believe it's coming from the heart of the person. Maybe they mean well. Maybe they really kind of uh, have a love towards a person. I really care about them, other words, but their word is coming from them. It's not from God because when this word of knowledge came, 
it got results. It was directly related to what the Lord was speaking concerning that person. It wasn't some by and by someday where you don't know when it's going to happen. Look, those kind of words, I encourage you. If somebody gives you that kind of word, you know, you can be respectful and loving towards the person, but guard your heart because when God speaks, it's specific. When God speaks something to you, it's not something where you're left in la la land wondering, well, when and you know, and, and where you're confused and where, because those type of words that cause can cause a person's heart to lose confidence in God, to where they get confused and it's like, well, well, when, Lord, and how long do I have to wait? Look, you don't have to wait for something that was given to you at the cross, but this is an example of a manifestation taking place where the word of God is being ministered. There is an anointing and the Spirit of the Lord is speaking in that situation. And it's a wonderful manifestation what Jesus accomplished at the cross, uh, the cross, an example of the gifts, the word of knowledge.